you're serious. You don't have the Max Mofo hat. But it's so high quality and looks so good. And says Massive Legend on the back. Listen, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll extend Mo Friday for the next couple of days. Just go to max.shirtswithaz.cool, click what you want, and then on checkout, put in Mo Friday for 25% off. I have never done this before. I mean, I'll probably do it again in like a year or something like that. Uh, you can also click the link at the top of the description. It will take you to the page and auto apply the code. You can buy anything else that you want on that site. All 25% off with Mo Friday. Let's open some stuff. All right, what's on the agenda for, ooh, got a nice, Warm tea here. If only I could think of someone that likes to drink tea. Just doing a quick check. Okay, it looks like Pikachu really likes drinking tea. I mean, you should have just said so. All right, now today we have a pretty interesting one to some of you anyway. <laughs> On paper, it's quite boring. It is a Pokemon item that was exclusively given to bankers. Those old Asian businessmen behind the counters at the ADB or Asian Development Bank were given this very strange package as a collaboration, I'm assuming, with the Pokemon Company. Now, this was in 2017. We'll take a look at what's in the package in just a moment. Uh, as you can see, 2017 on the Pikachu's foot. And it was held in Yokohama by the Japanese government, I think. It was the ADB's 50th annual meeting. Now, I'm pretty sure staff and associates got access to this package, but I don't know how far it goes. I think people that were involved with the programs and stuff that the bank had and were in attendance with this meeting also probably got this. It's not super, super premium, uh, but it is very, very interesting. Okay, scratch that. It's gold. It is premium. Look, oh, that looks gorgeous. But yeah, we're combining two very polar opposite things here. Banking and Pokemon. I don't even know what this has in it. Something that old people like? What is this? Okay, it's um, it's scented like lavender. I can see a little wingull on there, there's a Pikachu, there's a bank. <laughs> I think maybe Yokohama's got something to do with the ocean as Pikachu is in his little sailor outfit. Look at this boring office buildings in contrast with Pikachu. All right, what's actually in this box? Is this, ooh, I think this might be a fan. How do I open, I don't want to break it. Why does it have so much resistance? I'm just gonna snap this into bits, aren't I? Oh, oh, it opens forward. A nice scented lavender fan for all those hot days banking. Am I right, boys? Don't worry, we're gonna go through all the items. There's a little note inside the fan. We're gonna attempt to read it with Google Translate. This shit is crazy, okay. It's upside down. There we go, got it set to Japanese now. Is this in Japanese? Um, it's just saying all sorts of random stuff. Shitty translation. Ugh. All right, now, I don't think, I was gonna strip this off, but I, I don't think we need to. Well, I mean, I don't think I need to. I would like to keep this Pikachu a little tidy and you can, uh, you can see everything in there, he's a sailor Pikachu with a very interesting sort of felt velvety fur. And it says ADB Yokohama 2017. There's the back side of the fella. And now let's take a look at this uh, boring document we've got on the back. It's a nice paper holder. That, oh, I like that. I hope that's exclusive to this. That's kind of cool. Pikachu, just in case you old people forgot. All right, yeah, that's a neat document holder. <laughs> What is Pokemon? This is awesome. City of Yokohama has concluded a collaboration agreement on improvement in brand strength utilizing contents and regional activation through fiscal 2020 with the Pokemon company. So Pokemon like, give me some of that bank. This is like trying to convince people that Pokemon is popular and why it's good. Also notice it's in, this whole document is in English as well as Japanese. And then they've got the nearest Pokemon Center to where this meeting was held. Good advertising, I guess. Um, and then we have the tiny Pikachu. The ones I hate with the little hangers, he's a little less quality. Oh, and we can read the tag on his asshole, which just says it's the, the 50th annual meeting. Such a obscure, cool item to have. All right. There is, there's a couple more things here, but I just wanted to ask you a question. Why do I buy everything? 
What is this shit? Why do I have two? I think maybe I got this for Halloween. I thought it was candy. It's just a bag to hold the candy or your toiletries or whatever. I think I got multiple because I was like, oh my God, it's soft Pokemon candy. Bullshit. I also want to ask you guys, what are you getting for Christmas? Surely take advantage of the Cool Shirts Mo Friday sale. This is what I got myself. I got myself a little treat. This only just arrived. Ooh, it's a needle drop <laughs> record. That's Anthony Fantano on the front there. I think this might have been for a charity thing. Yeah, some immigrant charity, the needle drop. Uh, we have all these different artists on here. Igloo Ghost, Mark Kozilek, Champ Chong. I don't even have a record player. I was just doing this in hopes of guilt tripping Anthony Fantano to come on cold ones. If I ever do come on cold ones and I do not fucking drink at all, I will... um. I'll have a drink. I'll have a drink with you guys. I will have a drink, even though I don't drink. I'll do it. I'll do it just for the uh, the meme. Yeah, yeah. All right. What else do we have in here? Of course, you're going to have a banking meeting. You're going to need a pen and a notepad. How awesome. It's This is just paper, boys. Come on. Mm. Also uh, scented like lavender. All of the products are. And the pen. Oh, very nice, very heavy pen. Imagine tuning into a channel to watch a man open and review a Japanese banker's pen from 2017. You guys really got it all figured out, huh? It's one of those multi ones with all the different cut. Oh, that shit slide. Is there any famous pen reviewers on YouTube? Now, lastly for this specific weird thing, Pete, Pokemon soap, toilet soap. I don't think you can get this particular artwork and box any other way. I hope not. Maybe they released it some other way because this is, I, I, I really adore this. I don't think so though, because look, it's got um, the Yokohama Bank thing there on the side and it says it is a reproduction of the very first Japan homemade soap. Oh, okay, that's a bit of history of why they've made soap part of this kit. Japan's first domestic soap was produced in Yokohama. Yokohama. Yoko, Yoko, Yoko. Yoko what? Yokai watch. Yokohamo. Yokoham taro. Yokoham cooking on the stove. That's really cool. And this packaging, not the Pokemon one, is a reprint of what the packaging was on the original soap. You ever just tune into YouTube to open up a video and watch a man reviewing Japanese soap? Man, you guys really got it all figured out, huh? On the back here, we have some... I don't know if I can show that. The classics. Only the classics. And then up here, you've just got Pikachu. Again, uh, you guys can eat shit and die. I am not going to open up the soap. Sorry, guys. I don't know what the soap itself looks like. I hope you can sleep at night. All right. That's all for that. Now I think it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection. It's the segment where I usually open up postcards from the Japanese Pokemon Center online that you have to obtain through shopping points by gambling on the children's slot machine. But it has more evolved into me opening up stuff that I wouldn't normally put in a solo episode. I've got a few things here, but I do have some postcards. Now, these are not usual postcards. None of these came from the Pokemon Center, at least not directly. These are ones I just bought in bulk on eBay. I'm cheating a little. I wanted to diversify my range. I think it did come from the, the Pokemon official website though, just in 2004. Very interesting. I'll do a couple of these. I'll save some else. This is adorable artwork. Look how shitty this is. They have come so far, but that with a fat Pikachu, super cool. On the back, they're all uh, very different. 2002. I'll look at two more. We have a uh, Pikachu just doing some crazy shit on some Pokeballs. This one says, Pocket Monsters. Postcard. Stamp here. Made in Korea. Oh, f yeah, still for TV Tokyo and that. 1999? Is that just the copyright date? I don't see any other date on it. Damn. And then next we've got uh, Jirachi. You know, I love Jirachi. This one is from 2003. I think this one had to do with uh, the Japanese train system, the uh, the junior line or whatever it is, the JR line. This is, this is gonna be the most boring episode I have ever uploaded. Please let me know below if you genuinely enjoy this or if you're just shaking your head. A bunch more here we'll look at in another episode. My collection is starting to get very, very weird now. I'll one day open a museum for every Pokemon postcard ever made. All right, let's take a look at some junk and then we'll open some Pokemon cards. Now, these are sleeves. We've got all the shitty birds. Who would put their deck in that? No one. We have a black Rayquaza. 
shiny. Then we have Zoroark, kind of cool artwork. And then we have a very weird one. Who's that Pokemon? Pokemon's Eye, number 129. They're getting so lazy. This is worse than the damage counters. Magikarp's Eyeball. Don't worry, I have a couple of bonus ones now that have opened the eye. Psyduck Eye, followed by Coughing Eye. What? <laughs> oh yeah. All right, I think it's time for a Burning Shadows pack. Oh, all the ones that we're gonna open now seem to be these Matang ones, Metagross. All right, let's see how we do. We slide the code card off like so, one, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the Fairy Energy. Now we have Tormenting Spray, Welly Feed, <laughs> uh, Guzma Guzma. We got a Guzma last time, he's worth like a dollar or something like that. Got a Rattata, and then on the very end, a Palo Sand. Holographic, but that's not all. <laughs> Why do I have so many of these? Why are they making so many of these? Oh my god, they killed Krogunk. There's been a murder. Woo! It's the big variety show. Let's see what um, Line Rider. <laughs> Line Rider, good game. We get today, we have a purple ditto. Can't wait to sit him on the cord cable of my AirPods. Now, very lastly, I'm so glad to be getting all this out the way. It's such a load off every time I just shit through a bunch of stuff that I can then go, fuck, I can shove that in the cupboard now, never to be seen again. Um, I can't even picture what this is. Oh, what? It's tiny. What could you ever store in this? That is ridiculous. You know the, like, these shitty ones that they did? The actual inside of that doesn't hold much liquid at all. It's like a, a normal small tea mug. This is a thimble! I can't, I honestly can't imagine what anyone would have. Uh, oh, maybe an, an espresso? That is so ridiculous. Um, and now we have, what is this? An, oh, an hourglass, I think? With very cute forms of Tyranitar and Lavatar, I think. That's what it is. Whoa! What? Look at the green sand. I'm a sucker for trash. Give me the landfill, boys. Oh, that's cool. I like it. Such a weird product. Oh, three minutes. Do you still call them hourglasses? <laughs> I guess not. All right. That's, that is, that is enough. Please go to the link at the top of the description, which will auto apply the code and go shopping for the Max Mofo merch. If you do just find yourself browsing on the Cool Shirts website, make sure you still use Mo Friday for the next like two or three days or whatever to get a whopping 25% off. Probably not gonna see that saving for at least another year. But thanks for watching guys. Thanks for always supporting. Thanks for watching the Let's Play on my gaming channel. You can check that out here or you can wait until I post another video on this channel. Bye bye now.